given by my dad. It was so nice. Well, uh, good afternoon, Toastmasters, uh, fellow evaluator, fellow contestants, members, and guests. A very good afternoon to all of you. Toastmasters has given me a golden opportunity to introduce myself to this marvelous club. Let me begin by introducing the meaning of my name first. The meaning of the word Rajata. Rajata comes from the Sanskrit word Rajat, which means silver. It is also one of the many names of Goddess Lakshmi. Well, remembering my good old days, I was born to a highly disciplined, God-fearing, studious family in Pune. My parents devoted their entire careers to the field of education and made it very clear to me and my brother that we had to take our studies very seriously. But on the contrary, I was much interested in playing with my friends in the playground, attending all the non-academic events that took place in school, and managed to complete my schooling as an average student until the ninth grade. But as my 10th standard board exams were nearing, something changed. Something made me to be more inclined towards studies, towards scoring, Call it the spirit of competition, good teachers, or the dream to get in to one of the most happening colleges in Pune. But somehow, I did very well in my 10th standard exams and surprised everyone around me. Since then began, or I must say, since then arose, the studious ghost inside me. And it always urged me to be one of the top scorers in school. Ah, at last, my parents are proud of me. While growing up, I remember spending most of my childhood time playing in the society with my friends, going to a number of classes like dance, music, craft, drawing, etc. Being a volunteer or a coordinator of each and every event that took place in school, going to summer camps during vacations and bullying all the small kids over there. I also remember going to my grandma's house in Hubli where I would meet up all my cousins and used to force my grandfather to take us ice cream, to get mangoes down the tree, to take us around the city and much more. Wow, those were the good old days and I remember them so fondly even today. Now while I enjoyed my childhood days so much, I also had to face some of my worst fears. Any guesses? Any guesses? Marriage. No, I was in school. <laughs> school exams. Monsters like history and math made my life a hell. They used to haunt me every night before exam. My mother, being a teacher, had high expectations from me. And I always let her down, especially in these two subjects. But somehow I managed to pass all the subjects and took a sigh of relief. While I struggled in these two subjects, I was very good in science and languages. And I often bagged the best project of the year for science and geography projects. All thanks to my good teachers. Right, teachers. It is truly said that a teacher can influence a student up to a great extent. A teacher can ignite hope, imbibe imagination, and give an altogether new direction to life. I remember, when I was in my 11th standard, I had this wonderful biology teacher. She made the subject so interesting that I fell in love with neuroscience. And I dreamt to be a neurosurgeon someday. I remember studying biology all the time and discussing with my father how successful, rich and successful I would be. The picture looked just perfect. But alas, this picture shattered when I had to dissect the dead frog in my biology lab. <coughs> oh my god, it still gives me goosebumps. I remember I cried all day and that's when I realized medicine was not my cup of tea. So, as per destiny, my journey to become an engineer began in Bangalore. After completing engineering in four years and going through a lot of struggle, in the peak recession to get a job, 
I finally got my first break in Oracle in 2010. And since then, I have been a part of this organization. Friends, life is too short to know someone completely. But I'm sure my journey in Toastmasters will allow me to know each one of you a little better. And so will you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Toastmasters.